welcome this morning as we're studying the book of Zechariah, Zechariah, really God remembers in Hebrew. Let's read chapter 10, verses 11 and 12. He shall pass through the sea with affliction and strike the waves of the sea. All the depths of the river shall dry up. Then the pride of Assyria shall be brought down and the scepter of Egypt shall depart. So I will strengthen them in the Lord and they shall walk up and down in his name, says the Lord. So the picture here is movement from affliction to triumph. Whatever God's people have been stuck by a barrier, you know, struck crossing the Red Sea, stuck, uh, had to cross the Jordan River. Wherever there's a case like this where they go off into captivity or they're returning, God breaks through the barriers, and so they are coming back. And here, of course, the picture is coming, return from exile, and, and they're coming back. And so this is kind of like reminding them about crossing the Red Sea and those things as they came out of the Exodus. God brings them through, and they pass through to the destination that God has set for them. All those oppressions are ended. When they were trapped in Egypt, God delivered them. When they came out of Assyria, God delivered them. And God will take us away from every bondage and bring us home if we'll allow him to deliver us. So God strengthens his people so that they walk up and down in his name. That's a pretty interesting picture there. You know how in Job, the devil, Satan, comes in and he talks to God and he says, where have you been? He says, I've been going to and fro through the earth. Well, here we see God's people will walk to and fro in his name. Uh, we are going, uh, God is with them as they travel, as they go, as they return from Egypt, as they return from, from Babylonian captivity. And as you and I come out of, of whatever we, we want to call our situation, you know, we've been in the world, that's like Egypt. We've been in Babylon, that's like false religion. We're coming to him. The Bible's outlining the true faith. We're looking to God's word to find out what Jesus actually has for his people. Not the traditions of men, not the, the crazy notions of somebody that wants to make up a religion, but to find out what, what does the Word of God say. And so as we do that, He's going to deliver us, He's going to help us, He's going to bring us on out so that we ourselves also are, are in the world. We are walking out, walking out from captivity, coming out of bondage. And you know what God's plan for us is free will for eternity, free will forever. We will always be free. He never takes away our liberty that he gave us. We will always be able to make free choices. And yet we will not choose evil. We will not choose to go against him. We will always choose to do the good and the right thing, but we'll do it voluntarily. I mean, just imagine that. Think for all eternity, here we will be, people, the redeemed, redeemed of the Lord. And we'll know the difference between right and wrong. We'll have sort of been there, done that, and sadly suffered sadly from it. But we will uh, still be free to choose it, but we won't. We'll, we will be true to God. He will be with us all the way through. And as we look out into the years of eternity, 10,000 years from now, 10 million and, and, and trillion on out, I mean, who could even think that far? But we will be free. We'll belong to him. We'll reach new heights. And we will be walking through the earth in his name. Uh, walking through perhaps the universe in his name. Uh, his character, his name represents his character, and so we will become more and more like him. And so we'll still be us, but we'll be the version that's like God, us. That's that's what we want to be. That's what our friends and loved ones want us to be. So there's a hope. There's where we want to go in the future. There's where we want to go. Uh, why, why wait for the future? I want it now. I want to be like Jesus now. Be like Jesus, this my song, in the home and in the throng. Be like Jesus all day long. I would be like Jesus, the hymn says. We want that for us. May we allow him to do that for us. Hey, come on back tomorrow morning and we'll look at the next verses. And God remembers Zechariah, Zechariah. Zechariah.